around this time when it's so hot here in the valley. So we'll showcase that tomorrow on Good Morning Arizona. And talking about hot, it is getting hot, and that means one thing. We've got to really take a look at all the trees and plants around our yard. We've got to make sure we're deep watering, like we talked about. This water's now been going on for two hours. The first hour, well, we got down about a foot deep. Now it looks like, well, let's see how far we get back down. Uh, about two feet now. So we've actually increased by about a foot in the last hour. So we're getting down deep watering, and what that's doing is it's basically allowing this root system to really take up a lot of moisture. We do this about once a week and we want to water so it's about three foot deep every time then shut it off for a week to two and then water again. And this is what we call deep and infrequent watering. We talk about it all the time. So it takes about three hours with our leaky pipe. Go down there Bob you can see what that looks like. And drip systems are the same way so you are going to have to check this. Check this with a rebar or a piece of rebar when you're watering. The other thing of course that root flare is very important. You want to make sure you've got full exposure on the root flare. This root flare is basically where the tree flares out right at the root system. And you can see some girdling roots in here. So these roots are going to have to be removed or cut out. And as you do this, and you should be doing this about once a year or so on your trees, as you do this, you're going to have a much more healthy type tree. Bob, go up to the tree. You can see it, Evergreen Elm. One of my favorite out here in the desert southwest. Really holds up well. Tall umbrella type of tree that really bushes out and creates a lot of that great shade. The other thing we want to do is we want to think about foliar feeding. Foliar feeding is a matter of creating some type of compost heating. This is compost folks and what we do is we just brew it up for about four to five hours with a little aerator. This is a little mineral aerator I got off Amazon and this creates a very high intense microbial activity type tea that we spray throughout the trees. Now you can use any type of sprayer. In this case, I'm using a little Ryobi sprayer and you can see up there, Bob, go on up there and you see how we just spray up into the foliage of the tree, the plants around the garden. This is a great way to actually increase that microbial activity on the leaf surface of the plant material, creating a much stronger tree. At the same time, we're fertilizing. We're fertilizing only with organic type fertilizers. If you use synthetics, you're not only going to create a lot of disease problems, possibly a lot of vir virus type problems, but also you're going to utilize a lot more moisture out of the soil. Some things we add into this compost tea, sugar or molasses, both of these will actually allow you to feed that microbial activity that's so important that really creates a nice sustainable type environment. Similar to what you're looking at over my shoulder right here at channel three. You can see how nice this garden looks. And by staying organic, like I said, we have far fewer diseases, far fewer viruses, and we utilize a lot less water. Some other things, liquid seaweed is something we add in there. A little bit of vinegar. In fact, vinegar not only is good for yourself, but good in the compost tea. We utilize vinegar, especially when we're actually watering a lot of those pots this time of year. If you have pots, you want to water about at least once a day, a little bit of vinegar with each watering, and I'm talking about a half a teaspoon, goes a long ways towards actually helping out with the fertilizing needs. The other thing is extreme juice. It's got a lot of hydrolyzed fish in it. It's a way to go. It's a great way to fertilize. And of course, building up that forest floor all around the actual drip line of the tree itself goes a long ways, not only to reducing weeds, but reducing the amount of water your tree is going to actually need. Kim, how you doing? I am good. Is it hot enough out there for it you? It is yet? very hot out here, girlie. <laughs> I'm ready to clear the table. All right.